I don't really remember the exact day that I became a Christian. I I just believed it and thought that it, well, knew that it was true. I am on Team God. When I was just in a quiet space, I heard a voice. The voice said, be baptized, my son. So this is why I'm here. Archel means protector of God's most precious. My name is what I am going to be, a protector. Um, Ail means belonging to God. One time when I felt lonely, God gave me comfort. And that was the first time I heard God's voice. I, I don't remember exactly what the what he said that time, but it was comforting and helped me through my struggles. I, I know I, I need Jesus because he forgives me and makes all things right. One time when I did something I knew was wrong, I shouldn't, I, um, um, I felt pretty bad, and I knew that I needed to ask for forgiveness from both my brother and from Jesus. Because he died on the cross to take away our sin. A, fe- a, fe- a verse I like is Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. God always walks in front of you, goes wherever you go. He will never leave you or stop being your friend. With with him around, fear and sadness soon leaves. Arkeel, we are so proud of you. We thank God for allowing us to raise you. You are a wonderful gift. God has instilled you with such a quick wit, a hilarious sense of humor, and a deep care and affection for those people around you, as well as a love for music. You are so caring and loving towards others. You're also not afraid to think different than those around you and to follow your own path. We praise God that you have chosen to follow him and to take this step in your relationship with him by making this public declaration of your faith. I'm excited to watch what God has for you and see where he takes you in your life, whether that means owning a convenience store or having more than eight kids. The verse that uh, came to us when we were thinking and praying about this was Psalm 139, 5 through 10. It says, it's a blessing for you. It says, God, you're always ahead of me, leading the way, but you're also behind me following. You're always close enough to hold my hand. That's so amazing, I can hardly believe it. Wherever I go, I always find you, and when I run away, you always find me. If I went as high as heaven, you'd be there. If I looked deep in the earth, you'd be there too. What if I could fly to the place where the sun comes up? What if I could swim to the bottom of the ocean? Yes, your hand would still be there holding me safe and showing me the way. So I also agree with Daddy's blessing, but I just wanted you to know, and those around you who are all here because they are in this with you, but I want you to know the truth of your name because there's a lot of power in a name. Oh, (laughs) You got something in your eye. I do. (laughs) So (laughs) funny. Arkeel, it is my greatest desire and prayer that no matter what you go through and experience in this life on earth, that you know that you are worthy, that you are designed, that you are not a chance and you are not a mistake. And you are not made from leftovers or random spare parts. When we chose your name, I was struck by how detailed and particular the ark in the flood was designed with a specific purpose. Even though no one understood or knew the value of what God was doing, 
with that structure at the time, he did. God knew. And he had a plan to protect those who needed protecting, to weather the greatest of storms. God also has a plan for you. And in the same breath, the Ark of the Covenant, Covenant is perfectly designed. Like the Ark, God lives within you and makes you holy. You are set apart because he's in you, built specifically for a purpose. One being that to bring blessings to those around you. Ark, you are a joy bringer, a protector of God's most precious and a dwelling for the Holy Spirit. You were also designed and built for such a specific purpose by the greatest builder. You are a gift and a blessing to those around you. The ale in Hebrew is like what Ark said before. It means it tells who you belong to. It's like a last name and you belong to God. Like the angels and Daniel, you belong to the maker. The power of God is always with you. He is in you and you are his. And we love you. Got some baptism water in my eye up here too. So, um, this is my first baptism here at CFA. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it could be a better guy to be able to baptize this morning. So, Arkeel, upon the confession of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 